Yeah, Abe, you know, also when we watch all of the, the, the halftime show of the Super Bowl and all this Hollywood stuff and the singers like Beyonce uh, and, uh, and Cardi B, they're always, there's more and more they're dressed up as some kind of Baphomet figure or they've got these horns, very strange outfits. But in your program, you also uh, referenced what Beyonce is doing, and it's very much connected to what we're talking about here, right? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, Beyonce's most recent project in association with Disney, her, her Black is King visual album, is actually depicting some of these same uh, witchcraft practices, these same uh, IFA or IFA religious practices. And what used to be things that people may would, maybe would only discuss in secret behind the scenes, it's now being brought right out into the open. You know, it's being put into our faces and they're cloaking a lot of this stuff in, you know, an anti-racist garb and a critical theory, critical race theory garb. But when you get down to the root of it, it, it it's evident there is a demonic inspiration at base. So then when you find uh, that the BLM organization is committed to uh, disrupting the Western prescribed nuclear family, you understand that there's more uh, driving this than what meets the eye. Um, you cannot tell me that you're concerned about the lives of melanated people in America's inner cities, and the first thing you want to do is disrupt the family? Mm -hmm. It makes no but sense if you're thinking logically, but it makes complete sense if you're recognizing the driving force behind it. 